लव आफ्टर डिवोर्स एपिसोड टू अ कपल ऑफ मीयर्स वाइन लुक एट हिम विदाउट सेइंग एनी थिंक जंकुक फ्राउंड वाइल दे वर इन द सेम पोजिशन वेयर जंकुक पिंड हर टू द वाल हर हैंड्स वर गैस बाय हीज अबव हर हेड वेन शी सैड नथिंग जंकुक विस्पर सर कैस्टिकली जंकुक वट डिड नॉट यू नाउ दिस वाइन कर्ल्ड हर लिप्स विद द स्लाइट स्मर्क वाइन आई नो येट आई चूज टू गो विद हिम ही इज आईज डार्क एन अपॉन हेयरिंग दिस एज वेल एज ही इज बॉडी स्टिफेंट ही क्लेंस ही इज जस्ट टिल दैन द डोर बेल रैंक ही लेफ्ट हर वाइल सी स्टेप टू आज द डोर वाइन सीज देर इज नथिंग टू डिस्कस एनी थिंग आई एम लिविंग जंको ग्रेस्ट हर वेस्ट बिफोर ही ओपन द डोर जूलिया स्टेप्ड इन विद अ स्मॉल स्माइल टग ऑन हर लिप्स जूलिया इट इज डिनर टाइम शी फ्राउंड वन शी इज आर जंक को ग्रैबिंग वाइन्स वेस्ट You, what are you doing here? Jungkook left her hand and was about to say something, but Wan cut him off. Wan, Miss Julia, you are at right time. Jungkook, I mean, Mr. Jeon was asking for you just now. Julia looked at them suspiciously while Jungkook tightened his head to our Wan, who was looking at Julia. Jungkook, we don't need to go out for dinner anymore. Come have dinner first, then you will go home. Wan was trapped in the game of words, so did she. And Vivling joined them, joined them for dinner with a small scowl on her face. Soon Julia sat at the small dining table with the dishes. She bought them all three sat on their chairs respectively. They all began to have their dinner. Wan also has a bite of rice with the sausage unwittingly while Julia was still confused with the presence of Wan and was continuously staring at her suspiciously. She can clearly see her swollen lips as if someone kissed her roughly. Well, her suspicious was right too. Yet she can't question Wan in front of her boss. All of a sudden, Wan stared at the main dish wearily, while squinting her eyes. And then she looked at Jungkook before she grabbed Jungkook's chopstick and wrenched in front of his hand, making the other to look at her. Julia, how dare you to behave like a barbarian woman? She reached first while Jungkook squinted his brows before he snorted. Jungkook, can you explain your action? Just what you did? Why lies her impulsive behavior? Now what she will say before Julia that Jungkook was allergic to mushroom. She gulped before she came up with a solution. Why I will have this alone. You guys can have anything except bulgogi. It has mushroom, which is my favorite. Upon hearing this, Jungkook stuttered while Julia snorted unpleasantly. Julia, you rustic people. Three of us can easily have it. Why cut her off? Why I said I want it alone means alone. I won't share it with anyone. She grabbed the bowl of bulgogi with Julia tried to snatch it back and grab the bowl too. When Jungkook say this cat fight between two girl he grated his teeth internally before he jumped. Jungkook I don't have appetite anymore. He left the table while the girls lowered their heads before they left the bowl. After the dinner they both was about to go but Jungkook stopped wine on the name of work wine you could me here but you did not discuss any work with me listen i am not going to work for you Jungkook is that so wine looked at him shocked if you go without listening to me you will see what happen with mr jung and his small company sitting across each other on the couch wine parted her lips annoyingly wine what do you mean jungkook curled his lips with a smirk before he chimed jungkook that company's future depends on your own decision so think prudently wine girl before she agreed with him she sat up before she strode toward the door but jungkook's next words stopped her you knew i am allergic to mushroom wine turned back before she sneered wine excuse me Jungkook sat up before he strode towards her while she stepped back till she felt wall behind her. Jungkook leaned on her while supporting himself with one of his palms. Jungkook, I said, you know, I am allergic to mushroom. Wan bit her lower lip before she snorted. Wan, Mr. Jeon, what are you saying? Let me go. It is getting late. Yujin is still waiting for me. He clenched his jaws upon hearing another man's name with her mouth before he snorted. Jungkook, did not I tell you he is a murderer? Wan cut him off. Wan, at least he is far better than you, who saved my life when you kicked me out from your house in the middle of the night. He saved me from harassment. She choked on her salivia when he looked at her shocked. At the same time, he took a step back. Jungkook, Wan, Wan did not listen to him and escaped from his gasp as soon as possible. Next day in the office. Mr Jung provided Wan a desk to work while the other staffs were little upset because she got the position of top level designer in just one day now they won't be able to order her for their needs so he standing on the passage clenched her fist 
when Van was passing from there, she stepped her, stretching her hand. So he, after talking my position, you think you can complete with me? Dream on, girl. Mr. John is not someone who will be interested in you. She stared at her clothes up to down before she snorted again. A used woman will never be his choice. Van frowned upon hearing this. First she stepped her, now she was spitting nonsense. Van. Van, what nonsense are you talking? Did I say I want to be his choice? Suhi sneaked contemptuously. Suhi, well, you can hide your little bump in this baggy clothes from him, but not from me. Wise eyes popped out. She did not tell about her pregnancy. Anyone then how Suhi came to know about her pregnancy. She was quite at the same time confused. If any more people know about her. Vine, how do you know? Suhi smirked, seeing Vine panic. She curled her lips up. Suhi, you think it is nothing to hide? Can't I see you mourning sickness, mood swings and suddenly wearing these baggy clothes? Who are you hiding this from? Her skin crawled upon hearing this. She gulped hard as she was about to report but Jungkook and Julia stepped in the office. She can't let this man to know that she was pregnant with her child. Wine bowed to her bow, so did Sohi. Jungkook, Mr. Jung, from now I will work in this office till I am here. Sitting on a big leather chair, Jungkook snorted and Mr. Jung was sitting across him. When he finished talking, Julia chimed. Julia, are not we going back? The work is already on progress. Jungkook cut her off. Jungkook, you are going back to the main office. I will stay here. Mr. Jung seemed sheepishly. Mr. Jung, it is okay for me. I will arrange a new office for myself. Mr. Jung left the one office while Julia was sent back. After office time, Eva left while Vine took some time to arrange her stuff. Then she stepped out from the elevator and strode towards the bus stop. All of a sudden, a sports car was stopped in front of her, making her amazed, while Eugene peeked out from the window, making her blush. Eugene, hey Vine, come, I will drop you. Vine was surprised with his sudden appearance through through this was not the first time. Whenever he got time, he came to pick her with his garage car. Every time when he repaired any car, he took it for a test and it was time for Van go either office or back to home. Eugene made sure to give her free lift. Eugene removed the roof of the car while Van chimed. Van, wow, what if one day your boss will caught us using garage car? He will definitely kick you out. Eugene stepped on the gas while curling his lips up. He muttered, staring at her. Eugene, he won't. I need to test this car, so I thought to give you a ride. Well, how is it? Do you like it? Since I can't buy you this car, but I can give you a ride at least. Van laughed. Van, I never fantasize luxurious car or anything. I just want a happy life and I can say you made my life full of excitement and joy. Thank you for helping me that night. If you were not there, I don't know what would happen with me. While talking to him, her eyes filled with tears. Yojin clutched her hand before he chimed. Yojin, it is okay. What is gone is gone. From now on, remember that. I will be always with you. After shooting her, a thought lingered around him. That night, you were the one who saved my life. So obviously, I will always protect you. Why detached her hand from him before she wiped her tears. Vine, well, this is a new experience for me. Riding in a roofless car is one of my bucket list which you have fulfilled now. Eugene blushed upon hearing this before he seemed. Eugene, well, I am glad that I am able to do something for you. Vine giggled on his flattering words. At the same time, they reached their destination. Vine bade him before she entered in the house while Eugene went back to his work. Meanwhile, Jungkook tightened his grip on the steering wheel after he stopped his car on the other side of the road. What is so good about him that you left me? How long you were planning to escape with him? A man who just go out for, from prison is more important than me. He thought and punched on the steering wheel, exasperatedly, before he fished out his phone. Soon the call was connected to the other side. Jungkook, did you find it out? Why did he kill his own uncle? Jungkook's man stuttered from the other side of the call, making him shock. I, I just found it that his uncle was a pedophile who used to abuse him sexually. That's why one day he accidentally killed his uncle when he was trying to save himself. That is what happened with him and ended up detention center. Jungkook, what? Okay, I'm sending you some details. Find where the money was used and one more thing. Check all the street CCTV footage of three months ago. He hung up the call before he climbed down from the car. He stepped towards wine house and tiptoed to her inside it. Soon he find her in the kitchen, anger again built in his body. He clenched his hand before he yanked her toward him, making her eyes bald. Wine, you're here? 
her heart be raised because of his red dreamed eyes while he snorted jungkook why are you doing this he grasped her neck with one of his hand with the other one was in circle around her waist one what what i wrong did he sneered and snuggled in the crook of crook of her shoulder before he chimed in the same position jungkook you are making dinner for him you are hanging out with him you are living with him then why not me why did you left me i gave you every luxurious a woman want from her husband was i not enough for you wan felt a chill in her spine because of his last sentence does he think she needs different men to live her life she tried to detach him wan what nonsense are you talking you can't slander me like this In a blink he pinned her to the wall behind her before he smashed his lips on her he kissed her roughly showing his anger before he pulled from it he looked at the petty figure before he rushed jungkook then what is that you left me does he think it was easy for her to leave him so many nights she unknowingly waited for him when he kicked her out It was not easy for her to adjust without him in a new environment her eyes got teary when curl her lips up before she whispered when i did not left you it was you who kicked me i i just asked for divorce but what you did he cut her off while caressing her lips with his thumbs as he cupped her cheeks jungkook i did not mean to she laughed at her own self When she wanted his attention the most he never cared and now he was trying to be a good husband when they were already divorced when really yet you yet you portrayed me as a gold digger you kicked me from your house without thinking where will i go when you need to be married to get a project you picked a random girl from the road and married her just for a dummy wife right ye she post her throat was getting dry while he gulped every single word she said were all true when since you want to know why i left you then let me tell you this that i never wanted a materialistic life i wanted to be loved and get respect but i never saw that respect let alone talk about love you provided me everything but did you ever try to know what i actually wanted did you ever spend time with me except on the bed that too when you needed me right Why did I not cook for you? But you never asked me. Have dinner with me. You did not even know what I like and what I dislike. His body sniffed upon her every word. It was true. He never cared for her opinion. He always provided her everything because of his own judgment. But failed to know his own wise like and dislikes. Not even this. He showed his anger whenever he was upset because of his work. He gulped before he whispered, "Jungkook, I I did not give you." She cut him off. Fine. Yes. The life I'm living is far more better than what life I was living with you. There are plenty of girls who want to marry a rich man like you, and you will get a dummy wife too. But please don't interfere in my peaceful life. Just get out from here and let me do what I'm doing peacefully. We are not any more husband and wife. When I am independent and I can choose whoever I want to live with. He wanted to say that he did not divorce her yet. He was not able to let those words out. He was only staring at her with his intense gaze. There was no points when she already chose to live with someone else, which she bit her lower lip because of the close proximity, which she just realized. Suddenly, they heard Yojin's voice from the living room. Yojin, when I am back, let's have dinner together. When giving a last meaningful glare, escaped from his gaze and washed her face before she stepped in the living room, while he stayed there clenching his jaws. Eugene looked her shocked when he saw her puffed eyes. He stepped towards her before he jumped. Eugene, did you cry? What happened? They were concerned in his every word. While one shocked her head before she jumped. When I did not, it is the onion. It it is not my cup of tea. It suits in the hand of you. Skill to do it. Eugene laughed on her stylish words. Eugene, I'm sorry. I'm little late. You have to bear alone with the dinner preparation. Soon the dinner was set in the dining table by both of them while Jungkook was still there hiding listening to their chatter for the first time he realized that he never took part in anything related to Wan or spent time with her he saw how Wan and Yujin was interacting with each other while having their dinner Yujin you know what i saw a car outside our house when i was going back and the car is still here and this is not the first time these day i saw this car out of our house at this time or the whole night when frowned when you sure you saw this car before too Yujin noted while taking his last bite when frowned him a glass of water 
using you now i what i needed and when i needed it he took the glass of the water before he chimed again you really cook the best food chanko gulped upon hearing this as if he just wanted to taste the food made by her he was craving for the food made by her for 3 months but this time it was not for him while wine gave a sheepy smile thinking about chanko After having dinner wine kept the leftover food in the fridge and did the and did the dishes while Yujin cleaned the dining table A while later Jungkook took out the leftover food and tasted it with his little finger and zoned out of the memories when wine used to cook for him After getting back from his stretchy he took the cho- he took the chopsticks and began to devour the food as he was having it too fast that he choked on it suddenly he saw a hand towards him holding a glass of water he took the water and gl- and gulped in one go while wine chimed wine this is not my house so you better leave as soon as possible from here after having food and you don't need to stop me to be continued